Hi all, and welcome to the video. In this one, it's Let's Build a Tune Series 6, number 40. Right, as you probably guessed, we are in the alien playfield here, the Zan Hub. Yes, we are. And um, we've got one small task to complete in here. Yes, we do. It is, in fact, find ammunition. Nothing that exciting. I'm trying to decide whether or not it's actually quicker from where you enter, which is there, to run via the arid rift exit, or whether it's quicker to run this way. It feels quicker going anti-clockwise, that, that way around. But I suspect that's because you can actually see uh, the 12 man entrance for longer. <laughs> and if you look on this side, you sort of do have to go out and around, whereas this side you sort of continue round fairly consistently all the way. Anyway, in here we've just got a very quick one, in fact. Uh, find ammunition. Yes, it is. Which should not prove difficult, we hope. We've had problems here before. You remember when we did the Arid Rift quest in here? It's actually running around with two shields, which reminds me, I've got 21 minutes left on that shield, so I'm thinking probably time to cast another one. Right, let's pop this on. I've tried doing a hot swap on those before and it does not seem to work, which is bloody annoying. Yes, it is. It should work, however, it does not. I find that easier to see on my screen, that map, when we zoom in in here. Whether or not you find it as easy, uh, I don't really know. Well, I guess it's six or one half a dozen of the other. I don't actually need it, that's the truth. I kind of know where I am in here anyway, you know, which is good. So where are we at? Well, I've not logged in for a couple of days. I've got very, very far ahead in the Deus Ex playthrough. Um, nostalgia for the win, eh? Yeah, I just really found myself getting absorbed by the story. So I have nipped ahead quite a way, or played ahead quite a way. So I've got a lot of footage to get through. Um, which is not the end of the world, but yeah. Just the free time I had, I've had, is fairly limited, so I've just, you know, logged, got in late on and gone, oh, I'll just have an hour of Deus Ex and then spent four hours playing it <laughs> before I know where the time has gone, going around, exploring, etc. So the next episode of that, and the next episode of Skyrim, in fact, is uh, it's already uploaded but um, I released one of each yesterday. And I find, for whatever reason, if I release every day, uh, it seems like fewer people want to watch it. So it might just be overloading people, I think. You know, like they, if they have to wait a few days, it's slightly more entertaining for them. So that's what I'm doing. Holding back on releases. Whereas with the Anarchy one, I'm kind of recording any time I'm playing now. As long as I'm doing something. Pets in the way. I want a shrinking nano for my pets. There was a problem. I took care of it. There we go. Mr. Lab. And another chunk of XP. Now, my regular daily is bloody rats. How we all love that one. Yes, indeed. Well, we don't love it, but that's, you know. Ah, 
um, up the spiral stairs. Has anyone ever climbed up that? Is it even possible? I'm guessing no. I don't think you could. Not really. I don't think it's a thing. Remember going to the alien playfields and you just, poof, jump off there. I think that's why there's no barrier there. Just to make that a little bit expedient. Oh, we don't have to run far for this mission at least. Rats. Oh, how I don't like this one. <laughs> I don't think anybody does. I, I, I put a video up oh, a couple of years back now on how to do it fairly quickly. Uh, untitled it, um, Rats Daily, How a Veteran Does It. You know, sort of saying, well, look, I've been playing for quite a long time. I've tried all kinds of different methodology and this seems to be about the fastest way of getting through a mission that isn't actually challenging and um, I think someone posted a video response as a bit of fun saying how you know rats how a veteran does it and it's and it's just a video of them rolling the mission and then deleting it <laughs> and doing the flip emote <laughs> and that's it that's the entire video like in other words veterans just go no nope, screw it not doing it but yeah there we go. rookie exterminator hello if you're low level this must be a nightmare waiting for a, re a response while you're getting hammered by roller ants. yeah 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 whatever all the dramatic music but the truth is yeah so we're gonna head over to the beach oh yeah and if you have been to the storm forums and they're down don't worry about it they will be up on friday of this video so where are we now we can't think what the date is um is it oh no it's not actual time is it it's game time I have to check the date but yes overspent this month and then went oh crap I've got to pay for the uh, hosting so <laughs> the money wasn't there oops so yeah Friday all should be good don't worry about it it's all backed up just in case it gets backed up every week so it's not a big issue but I think it's probably time to find a better host, I think. I took one of those um, <clears throat> one of those deals you get where um, the first year is really cheap. And then they said, oh, no, the, the year after will only be this much. I was like, OK. And then when it came through, it was like, it's actually going to be this much. I was like, what? You know, not funny. So yeah, not to worry. Are they, yes, they are. Difficult to tell on the mini map because they all ball up, and you can't quite see who is what or whatever. So not to worry. Okay, let's go through. So that and the beach. Where are we at? It's usually in the 80s, occasionally in the 70s. How many did I kill so far? 75, okay. We need exactly another 25. We should not have a problem, he says. Hopefully. It's just sometimes if it's lagging a bit, like now, then the roller rats can be a little slow. To respond to you running past them, which is a bit of a pain. Yes, my son is growing at an extraordinary rate at the moment. He's grown over a foot in 12 months. So we've had to spend a lot of money this month on uh, lots of new clothes and stuff. 
which tough luck anyone that that doesn't like that he, uh, the family will always be the priority end of it's not a discussion um so yeah the, the, the pennies went that way and driving out to places that sold you know things like school uniforms in adult sizes yes he's going to be a very big lad i mean i'm pretty big but i think he's going to be a fair bit bigger than i am i would say it's 12 and he's uh, fast approaching five foot eight so i think once he got at least another four years growing probably more i was still growing at uh, 18 so if genetics have anything to do with it yeah he's it's going to be pretty bloody big. How are we doing now? She didn't shout at me. Oh yeah, there we go. We got the hundred. Okay, nice. Right, I think Shadowlands next. Yes, I do. Just for a bloody change. So, yes, here we are. I've put on the Inferno boots and it's time to get going, I think. On this character, for sure, we want to go by Sorrow. I've had quite a few times with the MP when I come out of the other exit, you have to run past the Lord of the Void. And more than a couple of times, <laughs> he's that road and he will follow you for miles. And he hits like a train at the best of times. Hits for about 4k-ish on this character. And, um, yeah, it didn't end well. That's weird. On a shade, you can relatively easily solo him with the right build if you set up pretty defensive. I know some shades manage him with a crit setup. Always weirds me out crit setups on shades. Because for PVM at least, like 85 to 90 percent of your damage are perk hits, and do perks actually crit? I don't think they do, really. Not not the way I interpret a crit. It's much more akin to I don't know, really. Well, just solid damage with plus add damage working the best. We all still here? Jolly good. Let's find some somfies and swear at them. Yeah, there's someone here running back the other way. Which probably means the entire playfield's been cleared. Would not surprise me. Except they missed that one. Let's just wait for the lag. There we go. Well, strictly speaking, that's not lag. That's the engine running very, very badly. Let's carry on not winning any awards for damage. They're running back, but these have been spawned a little while, I'd say. I'm thinking they probably just got their dojo. And are running back. That's my guess. The servers were down for a patch or something yesterday. I had to repatch the game when I logged back in. So. They did something. They said it was a hot fix. But haven't said, as far as I can tell, there's no information on what actually took place. I don't know. I don't know what it was that was, in fact, fixed. It's not like Warframe where the patch notes are like an hour, you know, an hour of reading. Hello! Fancy seeing you stood up on there. Oh yes, 
procs. Really need them for this. He said sarcastically. Comfy than I was actually expecting. Roll a bit of a debuff, a really debuff this guy. Give him the full complement of debuff. Someone asked me the other day on a video, an old one in fact. Um, why do I click to mobs rather than tab? Because tab's bloody hopeless at times. You can, especially in a playfield like this, you can be tabbing for, you know, a very long time trying to get to the mob that you actually want. Which is bloody annoying. Yes, it is. It's bloody annoying, you know. Out of all, he said in a very bad impression of a received English. Which is what somebody is referring to incorrectly when they say, Oh, you're speaking with a posh accent. No, no, it's received English. It is an actual sort of... It's basically the textbook version of how to speak British English. So instead of saying, um, Past, like I would, because I'm Northern, well, I'm Welsh. Hey, Doji. You would say past. And I can do it. But it is an effort to do it. That's the thing. I just... When I do these videos, I, you don't get a persona. You get basically me. That's it. Right, let's click this thing. I'm pretty sure a lot of other, you know, uh, showbiz people, YouTubers... Well, anyone in it that does, you know, anything kind of showbiz, which is what it is, um, pretty much will create a public persona. And I suppose, and it's not that weird of a thing, really, because don't we all do that anyway to, you know, a greater or lesser degree? Uh, hear me out here. Are you the same you sat at home on the toilet looking at whatever on your phone or reading a book? Where did I just go to? The wrong garden. Yep, I just went to Adonis. I meant to go to the other one. Yeah, are, are you the same person doing that as you are when you're out with your friends? Or when you're in work or when you're out shopping I hate this look how close I physically am to here but it just come here no oh god I hate pets absolutely I'll never master pet classes because I just hate them you know there is diddly squat <laughs> you can do to fix it. They're, they're never going to fix it, let's face it. And uh, clearly, pet pathing hasn't been fixed in the previous one. Yeah, so going back to what I was saying about a persona, you know, a, a persona really is just a version of yourself, isn't it? Because a lot of people say, oh, you know, I, I'd like to make uh, Anarchy Online videos on YouTube as well. I'm like, go for it. You know, oh, don't, don't come to me about it. You, don't, you know, it's nothing to do with me. You, that is what you want to do. Go and do that. You know, come to me for a blessing. I've had that before with people saying, "Oh, you know, can you make me intro titles?" And I, I've spent you know a few hours working at it for them, and made them some, and said, "Right, there you go. It's an unlisted video. You can download it and put it onto your channel." And then they, they've kind of gone, how do I do that then? I'm like, okay, okay, maybe, well, fair enough. 
Okay, uh, what browser? Get, get, use Firefox or something and just get a YouTube downloader. Or if you have uh, YouTube Premium, you can download it anyway. You know, so there's that. Um, so, yeah, and then they make two or three videos and then vanish. And I feel like, oh. So the last time somebody asked me, you know, can you make for me you know, uh, like an intro video with my name. My answer's been, well, let's see let's see where you're at in six months. And if you're still making the content, then yeah, sure. And I, I think they were a bit put out by that. And I don't mean to put people out, but try and see it from my perspective for a second. That That is a relatively large amount of work. It's a few hours, you know, it's at least a couple of hours out of my day to actually create something and then more time spent um, you know rendering it out that my computer's not doing anything else because I only have one and then the time it takes to upload that which to be fair isn't that long it's they're usually 10 seconds long or 15 seconds long or something like that um, and yeah so having had that happen a couple of times um, I just sort of said, yeah, sure, I'll do it for you, but, you know, you need to ask me again in six months for me to do it. The, the intro won't make you do this, won't make you do the work of capturing the footage, editing it, and everything else that goes with it. It won't. The only thing that will do that is you. And besides, it's relatively easy now if you have the software to create titles really easily. I mean, if you get a trial of like After Effects or something, um, you can go to, they used to be called video blocks, but they're now called, I think, story blocks. But there's, there's like a, um, a gazillion of these type of sites where you, you sign up for a free month and you get royalty free um, titles. So you can download the template and then, you know, modify it to suit yourself uh, that's how I started with them and then did quite a lot of studying and figured out how to make more which is how you see the titles now they're rendered out as a transparent AVR you know I've basically I've just become more proficient at it it's exactly the same way as I did with video editing except with video editing that started with editing actual camera footage uh, of you know family events live band etc but, being honest, I did study media and film. But I am talking a very long time ago. You know, maybe... Oh, God. How old am I now? I'm nearly 50. Uh, so, you know, 35, nearly 40 years ago, I had a, you know, a Super 8 camera. Yes, like the movie, Super 8. And I used to make little movies on that as a kid with my friends, you know, and we'd, we'd try and make a Star Wars movie on it or, a, you know, something. It was more like, Doc, you know, early Doctor Who or Blake Seven when the stuff we actually turned out. But it was fun to do. You had to wait a week while you sent your film off to be developed and then it came back and then I'd sit there and I had this little hand-wound editing rig so the film would be going through with a little, uh, you know, like three-inch screen backlit screen that you could see the frames on and I would draw on special effects and stuff um, took hours even even filming at 16 frames a second you know which was really choppy to watch but made the film last longer you know so that's what we would do and I'd even do you know for some bigger projects I would even do eight frames a second and I messed around with stop motion I still have the the reels, but I've never had them converted to a digital format. If I did, I would uh, I would put that up. But like I say, the animation stuff I was making was literally nearly 40 years ago. You know, so yeah, but, you know. But that's where all of that comes from. So editing the videos, etc. I have an instinct for it. Plus, I I studied it in school. You can take media studies in school, film studies, and you learn about the mechanics of editing and how editing can tell a story. 
If you want to know more about that in a very kind of um, easy to digest, not too involved way, I'd go to somewhere like on YouTube. I would go to Cinefix. Brilliant channel. They don't need me shouting them out. They've got like two million subscribers or whatever. But they definitely understand film, you know, in, in quite a big way. So they would, uh, they'll take out a movie and explain how a sequence of films has been cut together. And, you know, and these can be iconic films and you'll, you'll see it and go, oh yeah. Whereas quite often, you know, I'll be watching it and going, yeah, I saw that. I noticed they'd done that with the pacing and cutting back and forth or, you know, whatever. And if you want to learn about that kind of thing, that is a good place to start. If you want to learn about the mechanics of you know, creating the video. I've already made a video about that, so that shouldn't be a barrier to you anymore. You know, it should be fairly simple. I mean, the color grading and stuff. Well, make sure you've got a decent monitor. Best advice, really. You want something with the widest color gamut you can get, and the most, you know, color accurate you can get because you're always going to get one person on YouTube commenting oh your video's too dark but it could be that their monitor's set that way you know it's, it's their interpretation of what they're seeing on screen and you do lose a little bit when you render out and that's something I experimented with for a long time I, there's dozens of videos I've got on YouTube that you will never ever see no, you won't. There's no talking, they're simply test footage. And they are me seeing what happens if I render in a particular way. You know, so I'll have the adjustment layer there. And on screen it'll look a little overcoloured. But by the time that's exported to YouTube and YouTube does its thing, the colours look correct. You see? So there's a couple of dozen of those on there. So, someone having fun with Corporal Ashley Winstead's quest. There you go, the tech wrecker. Yeah, he's got a nasty debuff, that guy. He, uh, he empty. he's like the, is it the silent prisoner? Where are we at now? Let's zoom in one. Disease, this guy, yeah, the silenced. He will um, empty your NCU. I remember going there on the keeper and being so, so gutted. You know, keepers are great, but if you empty their NCU, they're not nearly as tough <laughs> without the blockers, the evade aura, the shield aura, all the hots. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, I can remember that. Empty, doing um, the silenced over there and like getting him halfway down and going, oh my god, I need to rebuff. And if you've ever played keeper, you know just how much fun it is to rebuff a keeper. I think, I think it is, t it's the tune, the class that literally takes the longest to buff. Hey, we've completed. And there's nothing I want. No, there isn't. So let's do a quick check. Got to hand in both of those and that. So, okay. Let's whiz ourselves back to Tia. Yeah, so going back to where we started this video about accents and personas. So, yes, quite often I will try to speak closer to received English. Um, for, the, for the simple reason that it is easier for someone to understand. The, way, the new Doctor Who came out, and I, I think it's great. I think it's awesome. Um, there are those that... Oh, stuck in some kind of time vortex that can't see how, you know, an alien from outer space could possibly be f female. Uh, and that it's not canon, despite that already being proved to be not the case about six times in the series since it started. There are female Time Lords, they regenerate, they can regenerate as men or women. So I don't have an issue with it in any way. And it's nice to see a good actress. And she's northern. Not ginger, which is a shame, but she is northern. So yeah, I'm all for it. I just want the stories to be good. 
etc. Her, her series is shaping up to be a little more like uh, David Tennant's was, quite energetic. And I like that. I do like that. Um, so, yeah, it's all cool beans for me. Right, let's hand these two regular dailies in and then we'll go and do the freelancers as well. Oh, went off at a bit of a tangent there. Yes, the, the new doctor. Some people have problems with their accents. They've got Sheffield accents, more or less. Okay, and first up, rats. Mission complete. Goodbye. Can I have my reward now? Goodbye. Hey, we finished the line of research. So where are we at now with that? Just started Jealousy 9. So that was good. We got Adol Death. Blunt, what are we getting on this one? More Ad Death. Well, it's not like we couldn't use it, let's be honest. So Jealousy 7 done. We're now on Jealousy 8. And I'm going to get that one started with... Freelancers. Go and hand it in. Dela has given me the fixer grid, but I don't actually need it. But thank you anyway. ICC, where frame rates go to die. Kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. When someone appears to be speaking English in a rather posh accent, they're in fact using received English. It's really quite specific as well. When you go to elocution lessons, you're taught how to do that. Oh yeah, that's oh, right clicked. Left click. Target. There you go. So I could at this point go here to this lady. Half a fudge. This lady here. And go be able to clear me to do more freelance and ink missions. Uh, I would like to take another freelancer's ink contract. There you go, goodbye. And she's told me, and why shouldn't you? So if you look now, I've got a cooldown on the freelancers, but if you look, I can go back now and redo my dailies. Don't believe me? All right. Okay, I'm going to show you. This is what those special tokens actually do. So I could go and fetch a doji. You notice there's no cooldown. They've all gone. This is why you can get a lot of levels done in a week. Here, you're doing twice your dailies every day. And the way to know if you've got one of the tokens is to look here. Freelancers Inc. tokens. See, I've got two. I've just used one. And I could go back and do it, I think. I think you can do it more than once a day as well. So I could go and do all my dailies again. Twice. The ICC commendations are not the same thing. It's those there. Freelancers Inc. tokens. And that's how you do it. So now, if I go back to Old Athen and we go back to the clan mission building in the nice... Gorgeous, slightly green sunshine. Anyway. Right, if I go and talk... Oh, not you. If I go and talk to the agency handler now. Applying for a job. Straightforward, please. Goodbye. Oh, you son of a... It's giving me rats again, but hey. But also, I can go here. I would like an elite assignment. I want a prisoner mission. And to goodbye. And alien handler. Could I get an alien daily mission? I'll face them alone and at this time I've got terminate the alien cocoons. So there you go. I could go and do all of that again. What I can't however do is hand in that again. That's the only one you can't do. But that's not bad, eh? No, it isn't. I'm surprised somebody asked about it. I thought, 
come on, this, this has been two years now we've had. I don't know, it could be longer. I lose track of time in AO, as you might have guessed. So yeah, that has been going for quite a while. And uh, surprisingly, not everybody is aware of it. But there we go. Public Information Service. I've just uh, told you all about it. So there you go. That's AO for today and for this episode. And I will just leave it there and say bye for now.